do we see enough great sci-fi on the indie level or is sci-fi just one of those things that only Hollywood can do right? Well, we kind of classify ourselves not quite as sci-fi but as lo-fi sci-fi. Um, and this is something I've sort of talked about and written about before where you know, when most people think about sci-fi, they think of, yeah, the Hollywood stuff where it's like, you know, things are blowing up and, you know, things are flying there and like all of this sort of crazy, crazy stuff is happening and it's very much more of a fantasy type. Um, but like, m like me personally, I'm, I'm a big sci-fi fan, but like real sci-fi, like the kind, the kind of science fiction that asks questions about humanity and at its core, that's what it is. It's, it's trying to figure out what human beings doing and what human beings do and what they're capable of given new circumstances. You know, like if we had the power to do something, should we do it? Could we do it? And what happens if we do? And I think that's really what sci-fi is. So that kind of sci-fi lends itself really well to the indie world because you are telling these characters that have a sci-fi element, but it's just one of the story elements that you're embedding in. It's not about things blowing up. It's not about the big like cinema feel to it. It's it's a story at its core about, about human beings. and it's almost like it gives you some freedom to sort of be allegorical about things and and tell a story that that is unique or or that is different that would feel a little bit too on the head if you didn't have that sci-fi element to, you know that you can ask really really deep questions and you can provoke really deep thoughts with with sci-fi you know whether it's in a short story or in a you know a short or whatever it is but i think that's like what we what i think about anyway when i think of of science fiction is that the humanity underneath it and I think there, I think there have been some of those lately in India. I think it, it's definitely um, much more feasible now than than it was in the past. Um, and I think it's getting more popular. I mean, I think we've seen it with Looper, like the fact that that Looper w was even made and that he made um, before that. What was the one with the? Um... No, he didn't make that. Sorry, I just remember that right? whole clip. Um, no. Um, Duncan, is it Duncan Jones? Duncan Jones made Moon, and then he made um, oh. the one with um, Source Code. Like those oh. have been Hollywood sci-fi's um, that have, you know, allowed like sci-fi and, and concepts playing with time to become a little more popular. But on the indie end, there have been some um, awesome ones like Primer, um, with Britt Marling, um, the two films that she's done, Another Earth and, and Sound of My Voice, voice. have been amazing. I guess you could call them lo-fi sci-fi, but I think um, where the challenge lies is in when you say sci-fi, people think you know big, um, big set pieces, action, um, you know, space, and it, it's. It, I, I think um, what's interesting to us are, is the the sci-fi that that Violet kind of touched on, it, and we have seen some of those films. Um, be successful, um, but that's not normally what. That's not where people's first thought goes when they hear sci-fi. So it's about, uh, you know, uh, getting across the, the sci-fi that that you're trying to tell or show. 